My name is uh, Stephen D. Giovanni. I'm an adjunct professor at Norwalk Community College, and um, I, that and I do my work. Uh, I first noticed when I was uh, in college uh, at the University of South Carolina um, and I got really interested in painting and fine art uh, when I saw how much fun the art students at the University of South Carolina were having. I actually went to school to study illustration but uh, quickly uh, changed my major. Yeah, I, I, the way I start my paintings is um, I will, uh, I'll go on the internet and I'll find images that for some reason are compelling to me. Uh, what I would do is I would take bits and pieces from different photos and then combine them. So where the image has a wall of figures, of course, I kind of stack the composition. In fact, there's a, one of the paintings has one of the figures uh, repeated twice in the composition. So, um, but yeah, it's based on actual events. The particular paintings I have in exhibition here, I was, I was actually looking for images of street violence. And um, uh, partly out of just a, a being in a kind of temperamentally <laughs> difficult place. So I decided I'd, I'd satisfy myself by looking through Google images of street violence with the possibility of doing images of, uh, of you know, people in the streets with tear gas and Molotov cocktails. And I ended up stumbling upon images of of, of violence in legislative chambers from uh, uh, from the Ukraine to Japan to Taiwan to Turkey and uh, there was something there that I thought was deeply powerful but also perversely funny. Well, think of it, yeah, I mean, as, as you might imagine, uh, it's, fu it's funny because there are a bunch of, frankly, to be frank, it was just a bunch of white men who are supposedly the pillars of society, the, our cultural political elite who's discourse had devolved so much that uh, the only way they could, you know, deal with their differences was through physical, you know, aggression. Um, you know, we, it's, it's funny because we, we're living in a, a kind of, during a zeitgeist period, you know, a period where there's a, a strong emotional feeling that's kind of in the air, a kind of anxiety and a uh, dissatisfaction. And we think when we, when we look at our own government, we see this, this kind of legislative battles, physical battles, as kind of a spectacle. We don't imagine that could happen here. But it seems like it resonates, because it seems like the discourse now seems to be kind of devolving. And so um, uh, it's, I guess it's perverse, perversely funny because um, it's, not, it's just something we just don't expect in our institutions. So I guess that's the best answer. <laughs>